CompTIA, Tech Plus, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.3, Compare and Contrast Common Units of Measure. Throughput Units. Throughput units are used for data in transit. Data in transit refers to digital data that is actively moving between two different computer systems, applications, or locations. Throughput units are measured in bits per second. That is lowercase b for bits, not uppercase b for bytes. The throughput unit, bits per second, can measure any digital data that is traveling from one point to another. This includes measuring the speed of network connections between computing devices or internal connections between computing components. Anytime you have data on the move, the preferred unit of measure will be bits per second. As a couple bits is not even enough to store a single character of data, we will have to deal in much larger quantities of bits to meet today's demands. Some relevant throughput unit quantities are kilobits per second. Kilobits per second are quantities measured in thousands of bits per second. This is a relatively low throughput rate for modern computing. We also have megabits per second. Megabits per second are quantities measured in millions of bits per second. Throughput rates in this range are common for internet connections in rural areas that are using slightly outdated technologies, where throughput rates are limited as a cost-saving measure, or where limited network infrastructure exists. Then there are gigabits per second, which are quantities measured in billions of bits per second. This is a common throughput rate for modern internet connections in urban areas. Gigabit connections are more than sufficient for most residential demands and many corporate environments. Now we are getting into some super fast throughput rates. Up next is terabits per second. Terabits per second are quantities measured in trillions of bits per second. Throughput rates in this range are relatively new and not very common. Unlike a bit, which is a static measurement, bits per second is a dynamic measurement. As such, I think it is worth breaking down this topic a bit further. Yes, that was an intended pun. Now for the breakdown. Let's start with bits. This is a quantity of binary digits, no different than we learned about prior. Per second is a measurement of time. The passage of time is what makes this measurement dynamic. Last, the division symbol makes this a ratio. In this case, a ratio of bits to seconds. Putting all these pieces back together, we can conclude that bits per second is a numerical way of representing the number of bits that pass a fixed point every second. So do you feel ready for a measurement conversion challenge? Great! For this challenge, we will compare three different throughput measures, each using a different unit and determine which throughput speed is the fastest. Here they are. In the top we have 0.458 gigabits per second. In the middle we have 49,896 kilobits per second. And down at the bottom we have 432 megabits per second. To compare these measures, I find it best to convert each value to the same throughput unit. Looking at my three values, I am going to choose megabits per second as my unit of choice. Back at the top we see gigabits per second which has a measure that is 1000 times larger than that of megabits per second. To convert from a larger unit of measure to a measure one unit smaller, we will move the decimal point three place values to the right. This results in 458 megabits per second. Returning to the middle value, we see kilobits per second which has a measure that is 1000 times smaller than that of megabits per second. To convert from a smaller unit of measure to a measure one unit larger, we will move the decimal point three place values to the left. This results in 49.896 megabits per second. At the bottom, 432 megabits per second is already in the correct unit of measure so no conversion is needed. Comparing these values is now much easier as they have all been converted to the same throughput unit of measure. Taking a quick peek at our original values, we can now see 0.458 gigabits per second is the fastest of the three values. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.